In Creo Parametric, you can convert a standard solid part model into a sheet metal model using the operations convert to sheet metal command. Let's take a look at how to do this. So I've selected the command. Here I have a standard part model. It already has a constant thickness in it. What happens sometimes is that you're creating a part using tools like extrude or revolve and rounds and so on. And then you decide, you know what? I really want to use some of the sheet metal specific tools. So that's why you can use that convert to sheet metal command. Starting in Creo Parametric 7.0, you're going to have three different kinds of conversions that you can do. But in Creo 6.0 and earlier, you will have driving surface and the shell option. Driving surface, again, can be used when you have a part that already has a constant thickness and you have to specify the surface you want to be the driving surface. So for example, I'll move my mouse over the model. Let me make sure I'm getting the surface that I want. I want the bottom surface in this particular situation. And it highlights in orange the geometry that it can convert. You'll notice that there are some additional collectors to include surfaces, exclude surfaces. Also, if you go to the options tab, you can choose how you want to treat adjacent rounds and chamfers. Here it will recreate them or you can remove them or ignore them. Also, there's a couple other checkboxes, one for keep not classified surfaces as a quilt, and also set the driving surface opposite the selected surface instead of using the surface that you picked. All of this looks good. One other thing to note is that it automatically detected the thickness of this part and it will use that as the sheet metal thickness. I'm happy. Let's hit the check mark. We are in sheet metal mode. You'll notice that we have a convert first wall feature in the model tree. Another similar situation to this, let me go to a different part model. In this particular part, if you take a look at the model tree, we have an import feature. So we got this particular model from some other source. It was not created using standard Creole parametric modeling tools, but it is clearly intended to be a sheet metal part. And to continue working on it in sheet metal mode, once again, we can go to the operations overflow menu, convert to sheet metal, and by default, again, it goes to driving surface. I can pick what I want to use as the driving surface. And you can see everything is highlighted in green. We can hit the check mark to complete the feature. And if you want to see what this will look like flattened, you can use the flat pattern preview. And you can see what it looks like in the accessory window. You can also turn off the flat pattern preview. And if you want to create a flat pattern feature, you can do that as well. It is using what I picked as the driving surface as the geometry to stay fixed. So again, very convenient for imported geometry. Another use case, here I have a part model, and this is clearly a solid model. It is not a sheet metal model right now. If I want to use this in sheet metal mode, once again, we will go to operations, convert to sheet metal, and instead of picking the driving surface, because I don't have one, I will use the shell operation. And then like with the regular shell command, you can pick the surfaces that you want to remove, like the top surface. Let's go to a smaller thickness and then hit the check mark. And now we have a sheet metal part. But with this particular one, well, if you try to go to a flat pattern preview, you're not going to get the preview because right now this is not developable. You cannot flatten this particular part. If you wanted to be able to flatten it, you would need to perform some additional operations and you would use the conversion tool in order to do that, where you can throw in some different edge rips, rip connects, edge bends, and corner relief into the model. And I'll show the conversion tool in another video. Let's cancel out of here and take a look at the third example of what to use the convert to sheet metal command for. So let's say that I start off creating a brand new part. I'll go to file new. I've got part selected and then I put in the name that I want to use for the part and then I fill in the common name and I've got all this set up. And then I click the OK button and then all of a sudden I realize, uh oh, 
I forgot to use the radio button to convert this from the subtype solid to sheet metal. Here I am in standard part mode, but I already have the name that I want to use. I could close, erase, not displayed, and then start over creating a brand new part. Or you could just go to the operations overflow menu. And here we have convert to sheet metal. If you are in Creo Parametric 6.0 or earlier, as soon as you clicked on convert to sheet metal, it would just change the ribbon over to sheet metal mode. You would have a sheet metal part. But after Creo 7.0, that's where they introduced multi body functionality. Now we have the option to specify an empty body to convert to empty sheet metal bodies. And since I just created this part, it only has one body in it and it has it selected here by default. Let's hit the check mark and we've got the convert feature and we've got the ribbon for sheet metal mode. There is another use case for this in Creo Parametric 7.0 and earlier. Let me change to a different part file and this part looks like a sheet metal part but if you take a look at some of the areas over here you can see that this is not a straight sheet metal part this is something that would have to be machined but starting in creo parametric 7.0 you can have a combination of solid bodies and one additional sheet metal body within a single part so let's say within this part i wanted to create some geometry representing sheet metal in here well i can go to my model tree here we have the single body let's create another body and here it gives it the name body 2 i will accept that it is now the default body and right now it doesn't have any geometry in there because i just created it i didn't do anything so far in order to create any geometry that would be in this particular body but if I go to operations, convert to sheet metal, and then use the empty body option, here we have the body to convert body to, and then hit the check mark. Well, now this additional body in the model is a sheet metal body, and I can create any sheet metal walls or additional features that I want to have in it. So that's another use case of the empty body option for convert to sheet metal. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.